Welcome to another episode of Carp Master. In this episode and the following one, we are going to talk about Ziggs. Now, in this episode, I'm going to first and foremost address the old-fashioned Zig. Now, talking about an old-fashioned Zig, I've got a whole lot lined up here, all ready to cast, and they are all in various lengths, up until about 20 foot. Now, this is the amazing part. We use this tool to screw into a bank stick and your zig literally attaches to that like that so you can't tangle it but let's quickly go through how we construct it and in what circumstances do we use it now before i construct the zig rig let me quickly explain to you what it is it literally is a hair rig with a high density foam or a pop-up bait on the difference is it is an extremely long rig now this one if i can just get all the line on the table is a 10 foot zig now it is an extremely effective way of catching fish in europe not yet in south africa but in 2010 we won the world championships when one of our pigs fished on Brazenos 1 in the linear complex in Oxford, fishing just zig rigs of 12 foot in length. In 2011, again we won the world championships in Italy, and there we fished with 12 foot zigs again. So this is a very, very effective way of fishing. Now let's quickly construct this rig. Now before I tie the hook link, let's quickly put the leg system together. I take my leader line and I pass the tail rubber through. And this is followed by my inline lead, like this. And then a swivel that I think you haven't seen before. This is a triple barrel swivel. And we've learned to use this in Italy in 2011. And it completely stopped the lines from twisting especially when you've got a recast and catch a fish and recast at some point your line starts twisting now this eliminates that altogether now attaching that swivel i literally just take my leader line and fold it double and i push the line through the eye of the swivel like that now i'm going to make a granny knot like that me put it through like that and then I push my finger through the next step is to take all of that to fold it through and then take that loop and put that loop in my other finger and at the same time I am attaching this like that and I pull tight now I need to just cut off the tag end and I'm not going to cut it off tight to the knot. I'm literally just going to leave a piece like that. And then I'm just going to pull that into the lead. And I'm going to pull the tail rubber over. Like that. And there we have the first lead system for a zig completed. For the second lead system, we are going to do a hybrid lead clip. So I'm going to take the hybrid tail rubber and push it through. Give myself a spare bit of line. Fold it. Push the line through the hybrid lead clip. And then I'm going to do a polymer knot. So for the polymer knot, I do a granny. Like that. Trap it in my finger. Then I take everything and I fold it over, take the big loop, take my other finger and then slowly ease the knot down until I have it like that. Then wet it with a bit of saliva and gently pull down onto the knot. Then I cut the tag end off. There we have it. The last bit is just to attach the lead. 
clip it on. And then I basically just push this tail rubber over so it just catches. I don't want it to sit all the way down there and I want this lead to drop. Now, doing this sort of situation or this sort of, sort of lead system, you must make sure that you use at least a four ounce lead to be 100% sure that on the take, the fish is going to eject the lead. So I'm gonna just put the lead back on, clip it on, wet it a little bit, push it over just like that. There you have the second lead system. Now getting to the hook link, we obviously need a hook. So the first one that you can select is the choddy hook, or you can select a size eight or a size 10 crank choddy, or you can select a size eight or a size 10 mixer hook. Now you're gonna think, shibbit, these are very, very small hooks. And believe me, they hook those big fish and you land them with no hassle whatsoever. I push the end of the line through the back of the hook all the way until I get to my hair. Now I've got to just select the length of the hair and then trap the hook and the hook bait. And now I'm going to just do a 16 turn knotless knot. One, two, three, four, five, six. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, and just one turn back. Now I've got to just hold that line and then get back to the end of the line and push the end of the line through the back of the hook again. And now I'll just pull that line all the way through. Now I've got a finished knot. And when I tighten, I've just got to make sure that the, the hair exits the back of the hook. Right, now I take the back of the line again and my little kicker and I push that through. And I pull that all the way through and I get the kicker onto my hook like that and you'll see why the 16 turn knotless knot actually works like a dream on this let me just pull that hair come on little hair sit where you need to be right and there we have it the zig rig obviously three meters up will be sitting like this now there you've got a perfect zig rig that's going to be sitting three meters off the lake bed. The important part comes in with the cast. Now we use these quarter zig magnets. So you basically just put your hook onto there and I'll show it to you like that. It's a very, very potent magnet and that hook is not going to catch anywhere. Right, so that's the first part. Now you're ready to cast. You must always remember or imagine that this hook link is only this long. Forget about this whole piece of line that's hanging in midair. When you make your cast and the line is peeling off the reel, watch your lead. And as your lead is about to hit the water, you must stop it. So you stop the lead, but this, because there's no, nothing attached to it other than the lead, this is still going to travel and it's going to travel past your lead and then hit the water. And it's going to descend basically like that. The lead is going to go down and this is going to end up sitting exactly where it needs to. The important part with a zig is to fish a tight line. Because what's going to happen on the bottom, your lead is going to sit stationary, sometimes a little bit plugged in the salt, and that's going to sit up there. The minute the fish lifts up, he's now going to get hooked, so he's going to lift that lead. 
the lead is under pressure now so it's going to pull back so the first indication you're going to get is a drop back on your indicator and then you're going to get a run guys this is such exhilarating fishing it's just something you have to try we've caught fish on zigs at Bloomhoff dam we've caught fish on zigs at rurikopi's dam and don't tell me that there's many other lakes in south africa where a fish will not pick up a zig this is something that you have to try give it a bash Thank you.